Welcome to my little lock zoo. In this video I'm going to show you all my padlocks with animals on the front and introduce to you and pick two new members that were sent to me by Watersea 2. Yeah, before picking I'm going to show you the locks. Um, only one lock per animal because yeah, I think that's just fair. So let's start with the Avo set. This brass padlock here with a nice um, Avo set um, picture on the front. Um, these are or these were made in England. They are not made anymore. So these are kind of rare collector's items. Very nice. Then another bird lock. It's a GTW, a German brand with a pigeon on the front. Great. Then we've got another bird lock. It's a US made lock. An eagle. The Eagle Lock Company. So they're also not made anymore. Then another German lock. The Basi with a bigger animal. Elephant lock. What else do we have? We have a Chinese made lock, the wolf dog, the wolf on the front, and of course the beautiful Spanish lince, the lynx head. Great, wonderful. So, and now I want to introduce to you the first new member. It's an egret. Come on. I have several egrets already, but this tiny little egret is one of the new egret locks that I want to introduce into my lock zoo. And yeah, made in China, huh? that's actually also what these Chinese characters mean. So they literally translated mean China made. All right, let's pick it so that it can become a member. It's a bit awkward to hold in the hand and to tension, but I'll try to do my best here. And it's open. So now the egret can be can become part of the lock zoo. All right, and here is the main act. Actual reason for Water C2 to send me a package. It's the wonderful buffo. So this pretty cool lock is really a gem. It's an old one. I think these are not made anymore. Also from the way it looks like, it's kind of an old style. Buffer, I think it's a sub-brand or type of brand of uh, the Avos company. Um, yeah, it's just a very, very nice old lock with some markings. Great patina. It's model 99. Not sure. No idea what that means. But it's 50 millimeter wide and yeah, for me it's the lock number one because we have ones stamped over and over here, one, 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 one again, and on the other side, three times a one. So this is the first lock. <laughs> All right, you can see some rust here on the shackle. That really just completes the great picture of this lock that has seen a lot in his life, I believe. Great, I really lo love these, um, these used locks when they are in such a great shape as this one. All right, I don't have a key, so let's start picking. Oops. Little 
little bit more comfortable for me. So let's start with one, that's the first binder. And it drops into a nice full set. Such a little lock and yeah, it's full of spools. Two and one is dropped and I set it again. And it's not an easy pick. Always one drops when you set spools. I think that was an overset, so I release. Okay, one came back. Now it's still overset. So now, yeah, now one came back. Got it. <laughs> it's a fun little lock. Yeah, now five is giving feedback. I think I overset it. Get it back. Three came back. One dropped. Returned. That's four. One came back and I reset it. It's a great little fighter here. Two. And it's open. Wow! This put up a nice fight. That's really a fun lock to pick and a fun lock to look at. Great! What I say too, thank you so much for sending this to me. It's a true gem and a great addition to my lock zoo. So, come here babies. So, these are now officially part of my lock zoo. Yeah. Great. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, watching, um, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, happy picking and bye-bye.